Well, then, once again, people, Dorgan86 here with another episode of Neko Power Volume 1 for the PS4. In the last episode, freaking. We were doing some PDA with uh, vanilla. Bleh, not vanilla. That was later on in the episode, but. Bleh. We were doing some PDA with Chokla, and then vanilla started to get all acting all weirdness and stuff. And she could smell the pheromones. That's the word that I was looking for before in the thing. And uh, now we're here, and shit, thank you very much. For what? Probably the last of the customer, maybe? Well, you, s you say rub me, but where, exactly? Not there. <laughs> try again. Hey, that should have been the correct answer. And try down here again. Yeah, there we go. Oh yeah, the freaking Jigaboobies are still there. Yeah, I did it. Congratulations, Notorious. Yes, yes, yes. Hey, I told you, not during work. I guess, but I mean, it's still open windows, so it's kind of, you know, uh, exhibitionism still. All right, all right, just a bit, okay? Fully charged now, damn it! I should do this at the beginning of the day, so then that way you can be fully charged for the whole day. You're like a lithium battery that runs on rubs. Okay, go and take out the trash. Sheesh, what a handful. Yes? Jeep. Hmm? What is it, vanilla? Beep, boop, beep. Just like Amazon, whenever you friggin' try and look on their little store thing, I'm gonna get you and he's buffer and it goes beep boop beep. Bulldog? What? You can clearly sense the spite in that evaluation. You're watching the whole time, weren't you? You jealous necker. Are you sure about that? I wasn't saying you were slacking off or anything. Well, this is my first love, so, uh. No, I mean... Oi. Never mind. It was obvious that she was staring at me the whole time. Is this some sort of new rebellious phase of her? I'm not sure cat girls even have rebellious phases, though. Well, I mean... Pfft, everyone tends to have it one of these days. Anyways, the total sales for today is... Vanilla headed towards the register, paying me no heed. How much do we have left in the bank? Roll. And things. Oh, well, again. <clears throat> and you'll have no memory of this. Hmm? I didn't wash myself again. Huff Puff. Hufflepuff. Ravenclaw, Gryffindor, and Slytherin. Um, Vanilla Sun? Again, the Sun. Honorifics. <laughs> Master, you are itchy. No, I'm not! Wait, wait, wait. You're the one who's pressed against me. I have security cameras, you know. Yes, why do you think that is? Huh? Calculating. Vanilla tilted her head with a perplexed look on her face. I've seen this reaction before. It seems similar to something that just happened yesterday. Vanilla, could it be that you're... And then she'll just slap me across the face. No! I'm gonna go take out the trash, but Chokla is doing that right now. Unless there's another trash can somewhere. In which case, go ahead. Chokla's taking it out right now. Exactly. Beat her to the... Ah! Hmm. This is how Chocola behaved yesterday. Could it be Vanilla's in heat? The two of them were twins. Wouldn't it be strange if they were going through the same stage. And this isn't at the same level as Chocola was yesterday, though. In any case, I'll just observe what she does a bit longer. Alrighty, that's fast. Now that I think about it. It's probably all the other cutout stuff and things in this game. Thank you! Shit! You ever have those moments where you do something so awesome, and it's like, damn, I did that. 
Okay, here you go. Hey! You son of a bitch. You always keep going against what you say. There you go. Go to go. Alright, you did well. Pet pet. Congratulations! Thank you. You also get head pets. Boop. Yay! Okay, there's a little something there. I don't know. Or it could just be my imagination. It's just she's inhaling and it makes it look like it's moving. Yes, yes, that bow walk. Like a bird chuckle flies. Get the fuck out of here. Chocolate is as energetic as ever. Yeah, she is. That's definitely true, especially in bed. Uh, are you alright, Vanilla? I mean, the whole episode that we had earlier. Well, like, how are you feeling? Did you, uh... Did you go and do your business? Old Green. I see. And that's good. Well, she seemed the same as usual. Chocolate would get visibly dizzy when she was in heat. So I guess Vanilla wasn't in heat after all. Or maybe she is, she's just suppressing it. As hard as she can. I'll be done cleaning up the kitchen shortly. Vanilla, go and help Chocla. It's like, but before I go... Collapse. On top of Kosuji Sama. Hmm? Vanilla. Round two! <laughs> Gosujin-sama. Mary It's thicker than before. What's thicker? Huh? Huh? What's thicker? The scent? The pheromones? My dick? Hey, Vanilla. She came up and embraced me from the front. And rubbed her cheeks up against mine. Speaking in a sweet voice. Hey, Vanilla. Calm down, okay? Gotta calm down. Otherwise I won't calm down. And then we're gonna be in a predicament. You're always clever about what? About things? <laughs> Back to reality. <laughs> that won't happen again! No, 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 enough of that. <laughs> no! A weapon that surpasses Metal Gear. No, when you were studying from the bell exams, I saw an actual Fleming face. Besides, you were the one that said that it wasn't good for your health to hold your urges in while in heat. Exactly! Urgh! You want to bet? It's not something to be embarrassed about, man. It happens to everyone. It's natural. All the boners, wet, and all that shit. I argued with the. I argued with Vanilla. Was being in heat something to be embarrassed about? No. I didn't think cat girls felt shame though. Well, I mean, I guess if it's your first time and you have no idea what exactly is going on, then you'll be all like, "What is happening?" Yes. Oh no! Ah, Chocla. This isn't what you think. If I could smell Master's pheromones and that pheromones, then that means that you can too. Vanilla, this is my territory. Uh oh, music went quiet. Ah, God damn it, I hate when I'm about to sneeze, but it doesn't come out. In the meantime, let me try and defuse the situation. You don't understand. <sighs> God damn it! Ugh. I hate things and stuff. <sighs> okay. Back to reality. Oh, it's got bobbity head, but oh, bobbity be bob boop. Wait a minute. What? I'm hitting L1. What? Did I just. Oh! I was hitting R1. That's why, you dumbass. I smell master on you. Oh god! Rated E for everyone. And I'm just back here. Just watching them. Chuckle's lips and chung crept lips and ching. Lips and tongue crept along the nape of Vanilla's neck. 
With each wet, sticky sound, Vanilla's body twitched. How did this pass? People of I'm not complaining. I don't want to complain anymore. Her body might have gotten limp, but something of mine is the opposite. Are we gonna get a CG out of this? Aw, oh, shit. Yeah, bastard. Hey, Chokla. Okay. Yes, she is indeed. Your face says otherwise. There's no way you can see another cat girl, you know. I am the same spouse. Especially down there. Look how wet and damp you are. Yes, we practice on each other every night for Winkosujin Semantics. Exactly. How how do you not notice that? You try to sleep next to someone. <laughs> After a loss for words, Vanilla cast her eyes downward. She blushed, breathing in shallow, quick breaths. She was gripping her shoulders as if she were trying to hold something back. Vanilla? Is she right? As her owner, I asked Vanilla once more. Answer me honestly, truthfully, etc., etc. She looked at me with troubled, upturned eyes. She answered me hesitantly. Yeah! I said it! But nodding ever so slightly. So you really were, after all. I did feel it was rather strange. But if that was the case, then Vanilla really did need to be relieved. The witch is why I'm here. Vanilla's health would be affected if I didn't do something. So that meant I'd have to do the same to her as I did with Chokla. Chokla, are you alright with this? No, 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 no! Even if I'm their owner, to do this to Vanilla after I made Chokla my companion... She's a... Oh, yeah. She wants in on this party. She was red in the face as she looked downward in shame. She seemed to idly fidget with her fingers. <laughs> it's super embarrassed. Yeah, she's a very cute kindness. When you put it that way, of course she's cute. Those words that sting my heart. A real tough position. Bend over. Now against the countertop. She slightly squeezed her intertwined fingers together. Her face was even redder than before as her eyes darted elsewhere. She really was cute. Since she normally had a poker face on, it was a dangerous level of cuteness she was exhibiting. I know, right? <coughs> so this is how a cowgirl with Vanilla's personality acts when in heat. <laughs> in that case, and even more so as her owner, I had to do something about this. How do you explain this to your kids? <laughs> you got a little son of a bitch, Laya! Exactly! Call me by my name, uh, Casho. There was a sweetness in the way she said that. She looked over at me, hoping I'd cut in and rescue her. <laughs> you can't ask me! <laughs> exactly. She's got experience, and you don't. But this is where we come in. Tag Team Duo! Tell me! Tell me you love me! And I will reciprocate it! Vanilla's pure white throat gulped. Ever since Vanilla went into heat, she'd become pretty wild. 
pretty wild, man. <sighs> a gulp just like Vanilla had. This is three-way triangular triangle of Lurv. Omanek. Chokla. Chokla snuggled up close to Vanilla, but it looks like she just snuggled up close to me, though. She then tightly locked. Ah! Ah! I need to see you do this! Her to pet! I need her to pet! I need to prepare myself for the possible CG that lies ahead. Which I guess would be kind of cool, because then that would teach kids, you know, that LGBTs and is all cool and stuff and things. Okay, tightly locked lips with Vanilla. Super hard. Vanilla looked at me with apologetic, un upturned eyes. Mm. Really? Is it really my fault? Probably yes, but I shall take responsibility. Weird stuff you say. Well, yeah, man, I gotta know more. <clears throat> it shows that I'm interested. She blushed once more as she looked downward. Her eyes darted around even more than before. At the same time, she stole quick glances at me. Those sweet, sweet words of nectar and honey. The two of them were still intertwined together. Their tails intertwining too. Chocolo looked over towards me naughtily. Yes! Allow me to be the white Oreo thing, Maligajigabobber. The cream in between the Oreos. What do you mean, how about you? Of course! How I feel? Horny. Of course. Vanilla is a precious cat girl of mine, too. That is to say, if it's fine with the both of you, then I... She looked at me with ever so slightly dewy looking eyes. And then looked away, blushing. After taking a big breath, she looked me in the eye once again. But as long as it's the three of us, everything will be daijoubu. Hey! Do it! Vanilla. Yes, you're good enough! What the? Hey, come on. Hey, come on. Yeah. See, you're good enough, special time. Oi. Don't be eating shit. I guess. I mean, even when I look at myself, I'm all like, hmm. I don't know. Personality-wise, yeah, I guess it's cool, but physical appearance, pff, I eat shit, horrendously. Don't be silly. There's no way you're not cute. I might be your owner, but more than that, you're my precious cat girl. I told you that, didn't I? Besides, Vanilla, you're more than wonderful as a girl. I did say that, haha. -ha. She smiled awkwardly, tilting her head. She looked at me. She looked up at me modestly with upturned eyes, as she twiddled her fingers together. I will take full responsibility. Vanilla. CG. CG. Oh, so Jean, it looks pretty. I wrapped my arms around Vanilla's back and gave her a slight squeeze. I could feel the softness of her body. Do you not like it when I hug you like this? And about your chest too, man. Even though you don't really got anything, that means hugs are more closer. You're more closer with the hugs, and the hearts are much closer too, as much as Foy Bagger. <laughs> Oh, 
so I will act upon them. If you aren't against it, then you don't need to go out of your way to explain. She softly put her hands on my arm. She then squeezed a bit in return. <clears throat> what about the store? It's closed. I close it immediately! Ha 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 exactly. Closed for after our business. It's like this cat girl's in heat! Get the fuck out of my store! Yeah. You're very cute, Vanilla. No, I will keep saying it! Over and over! Those words, those three words of eight? Eight letters? Yeah, eight letters. Three words, eight letters. The redness from her blushing face has reached her ears. She mumbled those words as she fidgeted. Vanilla was really adorable. Without thinking I had the urge to tease her. You want me to clearly say what now? Don't tease me. I know, it's called teasing. I am a demon, a horny pastry puffer, but I am your demon. Pastry puffer. Take me here and now, you horny pastry puffer. Vanilla shook her head left and right. She pouted as she looked at me. Sorry. You're so cute that I couldn't help it. God damn it, just do it! Do it, you son of a bitch! I want you to hit climax before I even do anything to you. Vanilla looked like she was about to run away, so I tightly held her. Her long, white hair draped across her cheeks. I said, I'm sorry. You don't need a pout. I caressed her cheek. Cheek! C-H-E-A-K! And put a finger on Vanilla's delicate chin. I then had her look me in the eye. CG Part 2 Also, Jin... Some, uh... Take a good look at that. It's super cool. And then, Vanilla shivered as her body became rigid. There's no turning back at this point. Got it? Once this happens, we can never go back to the world that it once was before. <clears throat> yeah, I think so, but I want you to say it first, you know. I could feel the wetness of Vanilla's breath. Those teary eyes did not look away as she looked right at me. Thus, I would look directly at Vanilla with my answer. Ah, that's right. Vanilla, I love you. Not as your owner, but I love you for the girl that you are. Skidayo! No Aisteru yet. Yes, the boy, the return of the big boy that takes big boy poops. Do it! Vanilla closed her eyes. In response, I kissed Vanilla on the lips. Get down there. Boop! There you go. Yeah, it's a soft and gentle one. It's cute as fuck. God damn it! This is cute! Ah! As I touched Vanilla's lips, I could smell the sweet scent of a girl and feel Vanilla's softness. Vanilla. As I softly murmured her name, I tightly held her delicate body. And then Chocla is over there in the back going, I want to join in too, please! I love you, don't lie, star! I'm ruining everything, aren't I, with my commentary. I placed more kisses on those delicate, thin lips. With her body entrusted in my arms, I kissed her many times. Afterwards, I slowly let go of Vanilla. She's gonna be high as shit. Ain't that so. 
<laughs> yep, no longer lust, but love. <laughs> Close to Jean Sama is our drug. Chocola rubbed against Vanilla's cheek. Despite how many times they said amazing, I only sort of understood its magnitude. Well, I'm just glad about how happy these two were. That's the thought I had as I gazed at the happy cat girls. Yes? Hmm? What is it, Vanilla? Hey man, so long as you act like yourself, then it's all good. <clears throat> As she took a step back with hesitation, I petted Vanilla on the head. There you go. Yeah. I said it's alright. You don't need to push yourself. I more than understand I more than understood Vanilla's feelings in that kiss earlier. Is that is that a comment or is that a thought bubble? Because I see Cashew's name there. So Yeah, whatever. That kiss you. Oh, okay, so friggin'. Yeah. So I did say it out loud. Excuse <laughs> it. I will not deny that. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, be true and stuff, I guess. You don't want to seem too clingy. But still. I don't think this has anything to do with being a pervert. She did a 180 as she snorted and acted with a bit of an attitude. Well, I think that is also something cute about her, though. <laughs> We're all one big happy cat companion family. Will you take us both to the bedroom? Hey, there we go. I stood here. Yep. <laughs> Wasn't against the concept of it. Yes. Yes, the baka is everywhere. You are a chicken. <laughs> I see two areas. You... I see you two are your usual selves as always. Nothing has really changed now that they've become my companions. I had a wide smile on my face as I watched my energetic and cute cat girls. Since the bakery is closed, why don't we have some dinner? And then afterwards, bath, and then we all know the rest. <laughs> Exactly. The males of the world will forget about it by next year, what? No. No. I won't forget it, okay? Mark this date on the calendar, man. Sushi? Well, it's got fish in it, and it is pretty dope. I usually like to get mine tempura style. I guess so. Fatty tuna. I'll give you fatty meat later. <laughs> A meat injection. Oh well, I can't say no to the request of my two cat companions. Well, yeah, man, you got a treat. I don't want you to ever forgive that generous mindset. Wouldn't it be forget? Yes, yes, I know. <sighs> Alright, let's go get sushi tonight. Go get changed, you two. Bye. And 
thus, a date was added to our family calendar. On the day celebrating our new family was a large flower circle stamped on it. Circle stamp. Sublap. Yay! Oh, you got a fever? <laughs> you got a fever? Well, the only prescription I have is more cowbell. Those two. Oh shit! Holy shit! Well, I know that this scene was definitely after uh, something else that they decided to take out of this, because you know it's a E-rated game and stuff and things. I wonder how far the the Nintendo Switch version would go, because that shit's still M-rated. I know. I'll have to look into that and see uh, what they decided to keep in it. This just makes it seem like it's it's. Totally innocent. It's just like, oh look, they're just sleeping with each other, cut girls and Kosajin sama. But nope, they are exhausted from doing the deed. As they let out sleepy breaths, the two of them rested their cheeks against my body. I petted both of their heads, each with one hand, and looked up at the ceiling with my mouth still slightly agape. It's a big bed, but I never thought it would actually be useful in this way too. Exactly. <laughs> and here we were, sleeping right next to each other like a big family. I murmured that aloud, never thinking this could have happened. I can't make an excuse about me just going along with it now. From the start, I never intended to make excuses for this though, as I felt their softness and warmth throughout my body. I pet the two cat girls I honestly cherished. I don't have a pet button. Dreaming away. Yes, exactly. We'll always be together, and then I'll be devastated when you guys die, because apparently your guys' life pans are much shorter. But hey, man, that's why time is limited, and we gotta spend, you know, as much time as we possibly can with loved ones, because you never know what'll happen, man. You'll never know what'll happen. Death does not have a schedule. He will come pick your shit up whenever he wants to. Sadly. <sighs> yeah, that's right. Always together. The two of them going meow meow in their sleep made me burst out laughing, and then I woke everyone's ass up. It was a lot different from what I was expecting, though. Leaving home by myself, becoming independent, taking up all the joys and hardships by myself, or so I thought. I only thought I'd be living all by myself from now on. <coughs> I woke everyone up! I'm pretty lucky, having precious partners I can connect deeply with like this. CONNECT DEEPLY WITH! On both a lovey-dovey level, and also... Uh, other connections that are also deep. Sometimes they make things difficult for me, like when they make mistakes, but in the end, they're cat girls that support both me and the store the best they can. Even though we haven't been together that long, I couldn't imagine a moment without Chocolate and Vanilla. Jeez, how long has this episode been going? Yeah, I am too. Thanks. I kissed both of them gently as they murmured in their sleep, and closed my eyes and drifted off. End of chapter? I guess. I mean, there wasn't a little card thing in the Lake Jiggy Bobber. Hey there, Shigeru. <clears throat> Become ill from being in heat? It's called an STD. No! It's not! God damn it! Uh, well, it seems like the chapter hasn't ended yet, but I'm gonna end this shit right here because frickin' it feels like an eternity. But, uh, yeah, that, that was pretty fun and stuff and things. So, uh, if you enjoyed this episode, you could hit, uh, like, and if you'd like to, too, you can subscribe if you want. And, uh, until then, this is Dorgan86 signing off, waiting for the next episode.